Okay, so I'll try and edit this into the video. Uh, my tripod, I can't get it, uh, it's a cheapo, and I can't get it to sit right where it's going to show everything I want to show. So this is the first part of this uh, draining the oil from the top. So what I did was, this is the hose that uh, this little electric pump here, I think I paid 25 bucks from it, uh, for it on Amazon. Uh, somebody on the crossfire thread gave the link to it, so not something I found. Somebody gave it to me, and it was, sounded like a great idea. Uh, but here's the tube that's going to suck the oil out, and you can see it's down in the dipstick tube. And what I did was I just laid this. Uh, imagine that you had the end of the tube right there, and that's the end of the uh, dipstick cable right there. I just laid it out against the dipstick table and then I marked it off. I marked off the tube right at this length right here. So anyway, the length of the tube, I've got a little red or a little blue. Let's see if I can get the camera in there. You can't see it. It's right here. Let me pull it up. See that little blue line? That is where the top of the dipstick would be. So I knew exactly how far to put the... Uh, the tubing in there so you don't stick it in there too far and get it stuck in anything so that should be right at the bottom of the oil pan and I've got everything hooked up this is the first time we're gonna see what happens I'm gonna turn this little pump on see what happens yep there we go right. I just got it going down into a a five gallon clean bucket. And this car takes eight and a half quarts of oil, so it'll take a few minutes, but it seems to be working just fine. And I'll come back once we're done. Okay, we're back. Uh, finished extracting the oil. The little pump did a great job. It took about, uh, I, I would guess, I didn't time it, but I think it took about 12 minutes or so. Uh, to suck all the oil out there. You can see we've got a bunch of nasty oil down in that five gallon bucket And for those of you who may not know um, they're all uh, that are worried about getting rid of the oil You can take that to any O'Reilly's AutoZone Advance Auto any of those places and they'll dispose of it for you Most of them have a tank and they'll either have you pour it in a tank or they'll take your container and pour it in there And they'll give you your container back, but it's easy to get rid of just take it in there Say you've got some used oil I think they've got a max of like three gallons or something they'll take at a time from you but uh, so don't do 10 oil changes and then take it down there but it's easy to get rid of so I put the oil in we filled it up um, right here is the hole where the oil filter goes so everything's on top on this car so it's really easy so you extract the oil from the top um, and you actually do the oil filter as well this is the oil filter and let me hold this down here you can see it's like a tube that goes down in there and it screws into the the hole there in the engine you can see this mark right here there's there's another mark you can't see that's hidden by the the cap here and they're equidistant from each end of that filter and what that mark is is so whichever end you put on that tube first you have to push the filter on far enough so that mark is hidden by by the cap here and that lets you know you've got the filter on far enough the other thing is that there's four o-rings and they come with the filter i bought a man filter that's what they uh the ones the people who really seem to think what uh or know what they're doing on the on the sites and everything the crossfire sites um, they recommend this it's a man filter it's a fleece filter instead of paper and it's what mercedes recommends so that's what i got um, I bought a kit. I'll actually tell you about that in a second. But there's four O-rings that go on this thing to seal it. There's one right here, a large one that goes around the top here. There's one right here. Then there's one here. And then there's one right here down near the end. And wherever the uh, previous owner had the oil change done last time, they did two things wrong. They left out two of these uh, O-rings. They left out this one and they left out this one right here. I don't know why. They come with the filter, easy instructions, you know, paint by the numbers type of thing. So we'll put that in there and you just screw it in. 
and you can just hand tighten it. I'll use a rag here. And uh, so that's good. And whoever put it in at the shop, like a lot of these shops do, it's another reason I don't like to go to these shops to have my oil changed, is whoever did it, they did the Magilla Gorilla routine with a darn oil filter wrench so the thing wouldn't come off. So I went to Lowe's, and for those of you that need one, uh, I bought the oil filter wrench that fits that for a Crossfire or a Mercedes SLK, the same. Um, this is a 74 millimeter wrench, oil filter wrench with 14 flutes. I think it was eight bucks and something at, uh, at Lowe's. But we have several Crossfires now, so that thing will get plenty of use. But here's the real kicker I just wanted to, to mention real quick on this deal is the oil change. Um, for this oil change, it's my first one on this particular car. Um, so I didn't buy the oil, obviously, that was already in the car. So I will uh, dispose of that. But my next oil change, when I take this oil out of the engine that I just purchased, I purchased it from a place called FCP Euro. That's FCPEURO.com. Uh, they sell parts for European cars, especially Mercedes. Um, if you have a Crossfire, go on there and, uh, and just put in an SLK 320, a 2003, if you have a standard Crossfire. If you have uh, an SRT6 like this one is, look up an SL32 AMG. That's the supercharged model, and the parts will be interchangeable. So, um, the kicker is, I bought the oil change kit. And uh, this was Liqui Moly oil. It's the Moly Gin. And with the kit, they will send you nine quarts of oil. I think it's nine. Uh, nine quarts of oil. Uh, the oil filter, and the oil filter comes with the oil rings and everything else. And the oil uh, containers are wrapped in these plastic bags. And so when you uh, change your oil the second time, uh, FCP Euro guarantees everything they sell except for consumables like if you buy a gas additive or something that your car is going to consume then it, it doesn't apply but anything else alternator starter or any other mechanical part and including motor oil and the filter um, all you have to do is next time when i change the oil i will keep these containers i put the oil in these containers and i'll wrap them up in these plastic bags and I watched a YouTube video where a guy showed exactly how he does it. And there's a flat rate box that the post office has that these eight or nine quarts of oil will fit in and the old filter, which is right there. Bag that up. It's not considered hazardous, so the postal service will take it, no problem. Uh, the the uh, flat rate box, I think, is about $21. So this kit's seventy-six dollars, but you send you spend twenty-one dollars to send it back to FCP Euro, and they will refund your seventy-six dollars for the kit. Pretty amazing. I didn't believe it when I heard it. It's like, who's going to give me my money back for used oil? But they do. So and any other part, it's the same thing. If you buy an alternator, if you have to replace it again, you send it back to them, and they will either give you a replacement or they'll give you a refund. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, I never thought that uh, they would, uh, some company would pay me back for the oil, but so now that I've done the first oil change, the second one, I can get a refund. So I'll just keep these containers and then I'll send it back. So pretty, uh, pretty freaking amazing stuff. Very easy oil change to do from the top with this little pump. And I'll put a, a link. A lot of people buy the, the manual uh, pump, which is just as good too. It's more expensive. It's about a hundred bucks for the little Mighty Vac pump that has a two and a half gallon container and you pump it by hand until you get the oil going and then it comes out this one i think like i said i paid about 25 bucks for it um, you just hook it up to the battery over there and start it up and it goes to town and it says on the box it'll work on rtvs you know outboard motor anything you need to do an oil change on this will work and uh, real simple and all i had to buy on top of that was a five gallon bucket you know from lowe's or home depot i bought this one from true value hardware but you'll have it right there and uh real simple easy clean i didn't have to get under the car i didn't have to take the uh, plastic engine shield off to get to the drain plug and all that da, 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 da. Um, this one took me a while just because i wasn't used to the pump i didn't know the procedure exactly but next time i do this on one of the other crossfires 
um, I think I'll probably have this done in less than 20 minutes and not get my hands dirty. So just thought I'd share that. I think it's pretty cool.